Hey, what is going on guys? This is Frank again. So in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to send email in batch to recipients using Mailgun API again. So some of you has requested me to do the tutorial for this specific topic. So I decided today is the time for this. So before sending any email in batch, so first thing we're going to do is we have to create a mailing list. Uh, actually, it's not a have to, but we should create a mailing list in Mailgun dashboard. So that is the very first thing to do. So create a mailing list in Mailgun dashboard. So let's go ahead and, and, and show you guys how to do how to do that. So head over to the uh, Mailgun dashboard and click the mailing list. Of course, now I don't have any mailing list. So let's go ahead and create one, create a mailing list. So here is the section where you can assign a email alias to your mailing list. So in this, uh, for now, I will just say no reply, so nobody can reply to this email address. I'm just kidding. So no reply at bot.frankdo.co. That is your verified domain. Yeah. So I'm gonna say all recipients for this name, and we say this is for tutorial. So now I'll just leave the access level as read only. I'm gonna add mailing list. Okay. Perfect. So mailing list is created. So of course for this mailing list now we don't have any recipients, you know. So we can actually of course go ahead and add the recipient one by one. But I'm not gonna do that because in practice you guys might have a uh, CSV file or Excel file or some some sort of a database file that comes containing bunch of uh, recipients that you wanna you wanna send batch mailing to. So. For this purpose, I'm going to use the bulk upload feature from Mailgun. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the mailing list and browse. So this is the mailing list that I have. It's actually a CSV file where I have uh, like two different uh, recipients with email addresses and full names. You know, one of them is actually myself. I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload this. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and upload. So perfect. Now you see Mailgun is very smart. So it's gonna recognize the full name section in my CSV file here. I also have the uh, email address and full name is gonna recognize this as well. So if we click a specific email address, it's gonna show, show us the name of that email address which is associated. So we have address, we have name, okay. So now we have created a mailing list, so we can go ahead for coding today. So let's go back to the, uh, let's, let me go back to domain first. So I'm going to go back to Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to use Jupyter Notebook for today. I'm going to say coding, coding now. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to import request, requests. And I'm gonna define a function here. I'm gonna say batch mailing. Okay, good. Then we send a post request to send the message. <clears throat> and first thing, we're gonna grab the API base URL. So that is the from dashboard section. Then we click the verify domain. So yours might be different. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this URL. So API base URL copy and paste here of course do not forget you need to add the messages uh, you know suffix in the end right and I'm gonna then we, we get a passing the authentication credentials that is a tuple then we say API then we're gonna pass in the API key yeah okay a, a, API key you can actually grab it from uh, from the credential page here I'm gonna go ahead and copy the API key here and paste it here. Good. Now we have data, which is the information that we need for sending the email. So first thing is from. I'm gonna say from from Frank and Frank do dot co. But be careful here. So you have to send the email from a email address with a domain that is verified by Mailgun. So if you if you do not send email from your verified domain, so you might end up in spam. So Gmail or any other email service provider 
will be recognizing that. So you might be just end up in spam without sending any email to your recipients. Yeah, just keep keep in mind. So from let me can say to here, you can actually passing a, a list of email addresses. But here you can also passing a single string as one single email address. So that is actually what I'm gonna do. Because we we create a main list, so we go ahead and copy that main address here. Uh, remember in this main list now we have two recipients. Yeah. So that is me and the uh, do me account that I created for this purpose from Gmail <laughs> just for testing. So I'm gonna go back and grab the alias, email alias, and I'm gonna copy here. So that is no reply and bot.frank2.co. Now we have the subject. I'm just gonna say prank message for, for you. Okay, good. Then we have text. So text, I'm gonna show you guys how to send a personalized or custom made greeting message to your recipients. So instead of just saying hello all, blah, 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 you can have like hello Frank, hello Alice, hello David, you know, custom made. So by sending a custom made mailing message, so we gotta use a feature from Mailgun called template variable. So template variable is like, you can assign a template variable to a specific recipient. So for example, for, for this recipient, we have name, we have address. So we have a template variable called first name, that is Frank, and we also have a recipient, uh, sorry, a template variable for the last name, that is do, yeah, okay. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So here I'm gonna say, uh, I should say it here, this hello, then passing the recipient variable. I'm gonna say recipient F name. Yeah, so F name stands for first name. Of course, you can pass in last name, you can say L name, but I'm gonna use uh, just first name. So that's gonna be the first name from this recipient, Frank, yeah. So when you send this message, it's gonna say, hello, Frank. Okay, hello, recipient, first name. So this is a built-in template variable uh, according to Mailgun documentation. So I will put the link of Mailgun doc documentation in the description of this video so you guys can uh, use as a reference later. So I can say, hello, can you hear me? <laughs> it's me again, the fan of Adele. Okay, perfect. Now let's send this email by running the function. Let me make this a little bit organized. Okay, perfect. Okay, now let's run this function. Batch mailing, good. Uh, it shouldn't print out anything, but I think this is gonna work. So let me head over to my uh, inbox folder. Okay, now I already got the message. Here you see. Uh, but you see, it's a hello recipient f f f name, so it's not really a uh, custom made message. So let me go ahead and say if I made any mistake. Recipient f name, I think it's uh, underscore. Okay. Let's run this again. Okay, perfect. So uh, be careful here. So it's not a dash when you use a template variable, it's actually a underscore. So you say, percentage sign, recipient, underscore, first name, and another percentage sign. Okay, good. So now you see it's a custom-made uh, specific message. You know, it say, hello, Robert, can you hear me? It's me again. So it's not like, hello, 
all, so you don't have to say that. And you also notice, so it's only you, uh, it's only the recipient in the to section, yeah. So, so in this way, you do not have to disclose all the recipients in the to, uh, to field here. So let me check here, it's same thing here. Hello, Frank, you know, can you hear me? It's me again. Okay, it's perfect. Okay, good. Now we're sending the uh, batch mailing with the mailing list function from Mailgun. But we can of course also send a, um, send a, we don't have to do this in this way. Uh, we need a, if this is an error, yeah, good. Okay, we can also do another thing without using the mailing list function from Mailgun. So we could have just say, uh, let me import pandas as PD. Then we can just read the uh, recipients from the CSV file and send that right up from the CSV file. So recipients equals pd.read CSV. I'm going to say mailing list. Then we say email. Is it email? Okay, email. I'm going to say dot value. I'm going to convert this to a list. Good. Let me run this. Let me print the recipients. Good. So it's now a we have a list of email addresses. So here I'm going to modify the code. I'm going to say to. So if you do not need a uh, personal personalized like message to a recipient, yeah, you can just say hello all then. So then you have to pass in a additional par parameter that is BCC. So you can BCC to your recipient. I'm gonna say recipient, recipients. But if you do not pass any recipient in the to section, you will hit a error. So let me comment this out. Run this. So now if you refresh, we wouldn't get any email because uh, it simply wouldn't work out if you just if you did not pass any like email recipient in the to section. So what I would suggest is we passing you can passing yourself in the to section. So that is Frank at Frank do the co yeah. So in that way it's gonna work. Sorry about the internet, it's very slow and uh, okay. So you see, we didn't get the message because we didn't pass in any uh, email address in the to section, but now we're passing ourselves in the to section. Let me run this again. But in this way, uh, if you're sending as BCC, um, you wouldn't able to do with template variable. So we have to get rid of this. Let me run the code again. Now, good. Let's uh, refresh. See if we get anything. Good, we get it. So now you say, hello, can you hear me? It's me again. So since you sent in BCC, so you will only see yourself in the two section, you wouldn't see uh, other recipients. Okay. Perfect. That's it for today, guys. I hope the video is again very helpful for you. And uh, I'm gonna in the next tutorial, we're gonna be talking about how to send uh, attachments using Mailgun API. Okay. Stay tuned. Ciao. Bye.